have to know, I mean, you all make big decisions, right? As a founder, you're making big decisions all the time. And what may seem like not like a big decision, but it turns out to be a really huge critical decision as you go down the road. So a company I had, uh, we were deciding on what technology to use. And really it was just a choice A or choice B. There's really only two choices. One was technology that had been around forever for the most part, uh, very well established, everyone knew it. Uh, it wasn't anything great, but it was, you know, it, it did what it's, it's supposed to do, really basic technology, right? And then the other one was technology that we were kind of tweaking a little bit to make it work for the product we were building. So it, it was proven technology. Again, the thing, uh, you know, it wasn't bleeding edge technology, but it wasn't, uh, the way we were using it wasn't uh, necessarily normal uh, in, the, in that world of what we were building. And again, you know, we're talking to, experts that build these kind of things and you know electrical engineer i mean we were building talking some super smart people and so what we did is we basically got everyone's opinion it's about four or five opinions in this in this decision to say which way was a better way to go right and four of the five people were what i would call really smart in their own in their own niches right in their own industries or what they're doing you know electrical engineer a design guy i mean some really bright people and at the end of the day, we chose the wrong technology. And you know, looking back again, hindsight's twenty twenty. Looking back, the problem was was we should have done the thing that is proven because again, the product we were building was brand new; it had never been done before, so it was new. So you you need to reduce the risk as much as you can, and this is especially true with hard products, but also important in you know software or services. You need to reduce the risk. You you reduce the risk by by choosing things that have already been proven. And so, if I look back on what we did, you know, if I would have kind of stayed with that and said, okay, what's proven? What's been around forever? I would have we would have chose A instead of B. And if we would have chose A, we would have had the right technology. We would have we would have had a successful launch. It would have just completely changed the trajectory of the company. I mean, completely changed the trajectory of the company. Right by just making that decision, and so, so my my learning from that was, don't always just listen to the experts. You also need to understand what the outcome that you want to happen. And again, normally when you're introducing new things, again things that have never been done before, you should have some proven, uh, you know, technology pieces that you're building upon that are you know, well established or well proven, right? And that will save you some headaches along the way. I mean, it would have saved me you know, lots of money, lots of aggravation, uh, months and months of, of you know, kind of back and forth. So um, yeah, that's, that's a huge one there is just understanding that although experts may be telling you this is the way, you need to think through that and understand that sometimes the bleeding edge or leading edge is not the right way to go. Sometimes it is better to use a established and well-proven and well-tested technology.